We're taking a walk through the book of Revelation. We're in chapter 13. Verses 11 through 18. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Oh, by all means, give a thumbs up so others can learn too. And leave a comment in the comment section so I may pray for you if you have a prayer request. 11, chapter 13. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spoke as a dragon. Now I've done some research. And I believe that this is the false prophet. Because he comes as a lamb. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ does. But the Lord Jesus Christ is quiet. But this lamb speaks as a dragon. The dragon is represented in it in Revelations as Satan. And he, number 12, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship. The first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And this beast of the earth does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. He deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Now this beast of the earth is compelling all mankind to worship the Antichrist, which is the beast of the sea. I have heard and done research. The, anti the beast of the sea, which is the Antichrist, is very much alive. And so is the false prophet. I may even know who this false prophet is but no man knows who the antichrist is yet and this false prophet he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast that means he could make the images move and talk as a human that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. This means that non-Christians that worship the beast will be compelled to be killed. Excuse me. To kill Christians. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive the mark on their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell unless he has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, 
and his number is 600, three score, and six. That is 666. These things which I have just read will happen to many, in many of our lifetimes soon. If you or one of your friends or family members would like to dedicate or rededicate your lives to the Lord Jesus, there's a prayer in the description area below. It starts out with Father. I'll paraphrase the prayer, Father. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that you have died on the cross for me, and I repent. Come into my heart and make me your child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And don't forget to give a thumbs up.